Hello everyone, how are you doing? My name is Radustina and today I'm going to show you how to draw this nice pine tree in Adobe Illustrator. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like those tutorials and let's just get into it. Okay, so let's get started. I'm grabbing my pen tool and I'm going to draw the trunk of the tree. If you want it might help you to have a sketch to guide you but I'm just gonna go and improvise. So I'm placing down a point and I'm dragging out those uh, handles and I would like the trunk to be a bit curvy to curve up so I'm tilting my, my handles in such a direction that it will help the path go the way I imagine it. So you will see in a second what I mean. I'm gonna leave it here. And then I'm getting this, uh, this green light, which is not the real path. It just shows me where I'm going. So I'm going to place my next point here. And again, I'm dragging those handles to create a bit of a curve. And now I want to go this way, a little something like that, like this. And I think that's what my trunk is going to look like. I want it to be a bit irregular. I actually want this curve to be a little more smooth, so I'm going to press A on the keyboard and bring the direct selection tool and then I'm going to click on the point that I want to edit and then I can drag those handles around until I get the, the shape that I want. So actually I'm going to curve this this way. No, maybe, maybe just leave it as it was. Something like that. Actually, yeah, I will go down here and I want this to be a little more straight to begin with and curve a little more upwards. So, we actually have to imagine a lot of this. Maybe a sketch would have been better but okay let's leave it at that and now let's make some branches so there will be a few short branches down here something like that and then a little more bigger branches up there. Make them flare out a bit. You can always go back with Ctrl Z and remake it or use that direct selection tool and edit what you've already drawn. So I'm gonna get another branch up here. Okay, <laughs> this is going to be an interesting tree. Maybe another short one down here. Now I'm going to select all this and give it the triangular width profile. Make it a bit thicker. I'm going to make the trunk the thickest. Yes, something like that. I want to make this straight, so again I'm going for the direct selection tool and straightening it a little bit. Now I'm hitting V on the keyboard to bring the, the selection tool and move this one a little bit out. I'm gonna go closer with Ctrl and plus. And then I just want to adjust all those stroke widths so it looks uh, a little nicer. <laughs> I'm just selecting the path and going up into the stroke, uh, stroke panel. It's either up here or here on the side and making all those little adjustments. Okay. 
Okay, so that's the general silhouette. And now we want to make the crown, this part. And I'm going to make it, again, using the pen tool. And I'm going to draw little sort of half ellipse shapes, like this. Where the crown is going to sit. Again, we place the point down. We hold so we can drag out those handles and again and then we adjust. Let me know by the way if you need a more in-depth pen tool tutorial because this might be a bit tricky if you've never used it before. Something like that. I don't know if you can imagine where we are going because that will definitely help but now we are going to select all those sort of half moon shapes and as usual give them a bit of a profile using this one the width profile 6 I'm also going to go into the stroke panel and give the ends or the caps uh, a round cap and then I'm going to make them thicker just like that okay let's adjust a bit individually this one is way too thick hmm. yes that's better so down here we don't need it to be that big this one is also way too big. I'm gonna put it up here. This one can move a little bit, get a little bit thicker. This one needs some more thickness as well. This one also. And as you can probably see already, it's starting to take shape. Hmm. I actually want to elongate this a little bit so we have a bit of a branch down there so I'm going to grab my pen tool and hover over this last point I'm going to get the little hmm, tiny little stroke nearby the pen tool so I'm gonna click and drag so I'm connecting to this old path and what I'm doing now is going to be connected so I'm just going to curve it like that Maybe give it a little more thickness. Again, try, try this a little out. Make it stick out a little bit. Yeah, also give those two down there a bit more of a thickness. Yes. Yes, I think this is going to be nice. It's okay if we have branches like this that are bare and sticking out because they exist in real life right there okay so next step you probably know what i'm going to do already because you've seen me do it before i'm going to select all these half moon shapes i'm going to come up in object in the menu and go down to path and outline stroke so now these are shapes and the last step is to give them a bit of a tooth just like we did here so the eye can sort of imagine that these are all tiny needles we are creating that illusion so we're going to do it here as well except we are going to do it on top so the needles are pointing up this time it's hard to see because this is far away but they are actually pointing up. I'm going to go for some color just so I can see what I'm doing. This is not important at all, so I can choose whatever. Go to the line segment tool and make some lines cutting down into this shape. I'm trying to be random, but 
start to be random on purpose, so it's not really going to be entirely random. And yeah, you know the drill, I imagine, so I'm just going to speed this part up. And here we are. Now I'm going to select just one of those blue strokes, using the selection tool, of course. And I'm going to go up to select same stroke color. And we have all of them selected. Again, we are going to change the profile to profile 4 or the little triangle shape. Give them a bit of a thickness and go inside all of them and change each individual thickness a little bit so we have a little bit more of a random pattern. So I'm going to sp speed this up again because it's gonna get boring I imagine. I'm doing the same thing over and over. Okay, now I have varied the thickness a little bit. Next thing we do, again we select one of those shapes, we grab all the others, we outline the stroke and now we're going to cut out those shapes. So we have to do this individually for each um, branch. I select the base shape, the black base shape and then I have to select all the shapes that cut into it. Be careful not to select the neighboring ones. They overlap a little bit so this can be tricky, so you can also use different color for each branch to help you with that. And then we go to the Pathfinder and click minus front. And there it is. So now that this is all done, all we have left is to choose some nice colors. So let's do that. I'm going to select all of this and then I'm going to hold down shift and deselect all those branches because I want to outline all the branch, uh, <laughs> all the stalk with the connected branches. Outline stroke. I'm also going to just group those make it easier, so Control and G to group them. And now let's go for some colors. Make sure that your fill color is on top, so that's what we are working with. So I want nice and dark color, maybe like this one. Yes, let's go for that. And something a little bit more fresh for these parts. How about this? Maybe a little too bright. Let's go for something like that. And so that's the finished pine tree. I feel like this is this part up here is a little bit empty, so I feel like I want to have another sort of crown shape part up there. I think that maybe I'm just going to be lazy and copy this one. So I'm selecting it by clicking on it and holding down Alt on the keyboard and dragging. And there it is. It's a copy. I'm going to, co to come up here to the corner of this selection shape. I'm getting this uh, double arrow so I can, you know, rotate it a little bit. I'm holding down shift so I keep the proportions and I'm scaling it up a little bit, something like that. Hmm. I'm going to drag it up. No, that's not exactly what I want. So I'm just going to repeat the same process but this time using this one, maybe. Yeah, maybe something like that. Hmm. Let's go ahead and give the whole thing maybe a little bit of dimension by selecting some of those crowns and giving them a slightly darker color. I feel like this one should remain lighter. Yeah, something like that. So yeah, I think this is looking good. And so here is the finished result. And here are a couple more trees, which I did using the same technique. So, that was everything for today. I really hope you liked it. And let me know in the comments what you thought, and if you have any questions. Don't forget to like, if you liked it. Next week, we're going to use all these nice trees that we drew in the past few weeks, and we're going to put them in a nice background illustration. So that will be exciting. Remember to subscribe, so you don't miss out on that. And I'll see you next week.
Until then, have fun.